what's up guys welcome back or to day seven yes that's right it's actually week six but day seven so uh we've got quite a bit more done in the meantime between the last video and i have a couple more parts as usual so let's go and todd got a lot done back here you can see this side she's mounted it's all complete that's a jeep now so this side we can have a couple we do have a couple welds that you can see are spot welds but it wasn't holding well enough so we did do or i didn't do anything actually todd did a nice beautiful seam weld on the inside so we've got that all mounted up there's also a weld on the top a couple plug welds there and i think what i'm going to do to finish this is oh sorry there's also a couple plug welds in here i'm also going to throw on a layer of tiny bit of seam sealer in there just after that little ledge just to cover that up and make sure no moisture gets in between the panels and we're going to throw some seam sealer down here and i think the seam sealer will cover up that little hole that we have there because that's how it was from factory and I'll show you guys in the front in just a second. It turned out really well, and the seam sealer covered up most of the junk that we were trying to cover up. So we're gonna run a layer all along here, and Todd's gonna weld this side today. So that's looking really good, and I'll show you guys what the inside ended up looking like. So there is the seam sealer that we did last week. It came out really well. This was the first side that I did, so it's not as clean, and this is still gonna get fiberglassed. So that's one thing we need to do but I'll show you guys the other side, which came out really, really well. So this is the second side I did, came out a lot better. You can see this covered up really well. So this is done. We're done with the floor. Only thing left on this side, <clears throat> excuse me, is this body mount. This one, for whatever reason, the powder coat closed up the threads. So we're gonna have to come back in here with a tap and open them back up. Not a big deal. That one is mounted. The other one behind this is mounted as well. This was rusting through. And when I jacked it up, it started to crumple in. So I checked. There was a little bit more rust here. There was a little bit more rust here. What I'm going to do is probably clean all of this up with a grinder when I get it home. I'm not going to bother wasting my time now. Just so that we can not waste Todd's time. And we'll clean this all up, throw on a little bit of Bondo and clean it up and make sure that it's all nice and flat. And I think we'll be okay on that front. I'm not too worried over here. But you guys might have noticed that bumper. So we've got a new bumper going on. This is going to be replacing what we have in the front. So we moved the Jeep back just a little bit. I'm going to rip the bumper off, put on the new one. We also have a new headlight bucket. If you guys remember this from last video, uh, last video, we broke this when we were breaking through all the ice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whoa. This is our new headlight bucket. These were actually pretty cheap, so it wasn't bad. It was like 28 bucks for two. So I'm gonna throw these guys in there and we should be able to mount the headlights back up and we'll throw on a new bumper. So I think we're coming to an end. We should get most of it done. And the only other thing that I need to do today is fiberglass the rear so right here last week we cleaned it up and put some new metal in there now i just need to fiberglass the last little piece that has a couple holes left and this side's going to be done as well then we're going to clean it up with a surface disc something like this and get all the rust off and we'll coat the floors so a little bit left not much left and from the parts that we got I got the new hardtop bolts and these guys have like little hooks with them. I'll show you when we install them, but they come with like little hooks for tie downs, which is pretty cool. And that'll make a lot more sense once you see the build come to an end because yeah, I don't want to say too much, but we've got those. Uh, I've also got these. So these are going to be my new turn signals because, and this is my new LED flasher for my led lights because these fenders are going to go bye-bye i told you guys this thing's going to get a whole new look and it's going to look different when we're done so we're chopping the fenders off today we're putting a new bumper on today and i think we should have the rear done today so there's going to be some big changes coming it's going to look a lot different it's going to be a lot stronger and she's going to perform 
a lot better hopefully because we're not going to be flexing the body and the radiator into the engine and all the other problems that we were facing before but let's get to work well this side she's all put together you can see it all lines up very nice we've got the plugs ready to go this side is also done only thing left is the two plug welds on the top all the welds on the inside are done all the welds on the back side are done and she's a jeep again now we have rear corners <laughs> whoops i'm getting them all dusty already but whoa but the only thing left is going to be a little bit of seam sealer here and maybe a little bit of love with the hammer actually no it just it's it tucked right in so that doesn't need anything that doesn't need anything and because there is a gap here i will be covering this entire thing with something some sort of a coating um probably going to be doing the monster liner on the entire jeep at some point sooner than later but we're going to be doing the interior first so once we do the interior i'll see what i'm going to do back here and we'll take care of that but let's move on to the front i've already got a little bit done i took off this weather stripping because when everything wasn't sitting properly there was a big gap in the hood and the last thing i needed was to catch the air in the hood and have it lift because well yeah <laughs> 23 year old rubber latches aren't always the best uh, option for holding down the hood but i have a solution for that as well so right now what i have done is taken off all of that weather stripping all the way around so it was pretty much to about here took all of that off I unplugged this light because I did myself a favor and these ones are on plugs. So I actually put the plugs on myself. These ones are gonna get unplugged, taken off. The winch is gonna get unhooked from the battery. Even though the battery's unhooked, I need to unhook the cables so that I could pull it off. And then we're gonna take off this bumper and put on the new one. Whoa. She's gone. And there we have it. So we've got this side all removed. That one came out. That one snapped. That one got cut. This one snapped. This one came out. This one came out. Haha, -ha, we're not done yet though. <laughs> These ones under here definitely do not want to come out. So we're going to have a fun time with those. But not to worry. Just a little bit of playing around, and I'm sure we'll get them up. That was a challenge, to say the least. The gun is smoking. Okay. <laughs> That's that. One left, this guy right here. So I think for the top one right here, we're gonna try to weld a nut to it to remove that one. But yeah, this bolt was definitely not coming out. Uh, I don't even know if you can call that a bolt anymore. This rust stick was definitely not coming out.
not looking too bad. It's going that way, right? Yeah. Good news is the whole thing is moving. Yep, it is. There you guys have it, custom bolts, courtesy of the Jeep. Now, all of them are out. We're ready to start putting the new ones back in. Okay, I managed to get these guys out, which are next to impossible to remove, let me tell you. But one of these fins was bent, so I pulled it back out. She's pretty good now. And we just need to weld in this nut because this one was destroyed, we had to remove it. We're gonna weld this nut in and we'll have ourselves a new way to mount the bumper. This light I just removed, we're gonna replace that bucket. So the broken one I already tossed and here's the new one. And I've already removed this broken bucket. So this one had a couple of tabs snapped off on it. The new one will go in Actually, this one has a left on it, but yeah, this is the left side, so we're good, and it does match up. So we've got three little studs to just basically push it onto. And that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to grab my headlight and mount her in there. That's the end of day seven. And as you can see, we have a rear end again. That's right. We managed to put the Jeep back together. We've got a rear end, lights are mounted, corners are mounted solid. Everything back here is tidied up. The back opens very nicely. Only thing left back here will be seam seal around the edge over here, seam seal the edge over here and seam seal the edge over here. I think I might also throw a little bit of some kind of sealer just in this area over here, but we'll see in a minute when we get to that. And I did throw on our new hardtop bolts, and these are the hangers that I was talking about, the tie-down points. So there's a tie-down point on each one, and the reason for that being is there's gonna be a lot of changes done back here. We're gonna remove the seat, and there's gonna be something else going in here, which I don't wanna ruin for you guys just yet, but let's just say I haven't seen another TJ with it and it's gonna be really cool, really useful and I think a lot of you guys are gonna like it. But the other things that we did to get finished are the bumper. That's right, she's got a new bumper on her. Now, the bumper looks a little funny because we haven't done the fenders yet. Once we do the fenders, the whole front end will tie in together a lot better. But I just wanted to show you guys at least what we've got so far. I finished mounting up the lights, so that's mounted, that light's mounted. I got all of the grill guards back in, or whatever you want to call these. I do need to mount my license plate, my custom bent license plate. I'm planning to just drill a couple of holes right here, mount them in there, and then we won't have any issues. We're going to have a license plate and we'll be legal. But she's coming together. She's really coming together. I did not have a chance to do the fiberglass So the only things left are front fenders fiberglass the rear floor seam seal the trunk and Oh, and we're gonna fix the 4x4 shifter, but other than that Like she is she's ready. I'd say we're at about 92% right now. We're very very close I cannot wait to see the end and honestly, I think we might have this thing out on the trails again in the next few weeks or I know we will. And you guys can see just how easy it is to close the rear trunk now, so I'm not lifting it. She's closed. Well, I didn't close it hard enough, but you can see, there, now she's closed. Sits great. The only thing back here I need to address is this weather stripping. 
The weather stripping has been giving up for quite some time. I have put it back in many times, including like five times just now, but it decided that it didn't want to stay in. So I will be getting a new weather stripping and I will be getting myself some uh, weather stripping adhesive because this weather stripping has given up and it's just too tired to actually want to sit back in place. It's a little bit stretched out. You can see it's ripping in some places. So not a big deal. We'll get ourselves a new one. But damn, that is, <laughs> that's a Jeep. So once again, guys, that's the end of the video. This isn't the end of the project. We're very, very close, but we've got a little bit left. So jump over to Todd's channel, check out his videos. He's got a different perspective of the, of the build and the fixes, and you guys will definitely be interested to check those out. But hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. We do have some more videos coming, so please stick around and hopefully I'll see you there. But until then guys, ride safe out there. And don't forget to jump down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, give this video a share, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.